What's going on there guys? Good evening. It is the Earth Master here on this uh, first day of 2022, about 6.01 p.m. California time and the latest quake on the globe, a 2.5 earthquake striking around the Puerto Rico area. Had some movement in the area to the west earlier with a 4.3 earthquake. Let's go ahead and check out some specific details on the latest USGS map down here in the oh well let's see where we're at right outside of the haiti area had a 4.3 at 10 kilometers kind of a, in an odd spot but we do get some earthquake activity out there on occasion for sure the puerto rico area let's go ahead and switch over here to the all magnitudes pretty quiet for the most part not a whole lot of movement there today in this region puerto rico trench southward towards st john's looks pretty quiet South America plate, absolutely quiet, uh, except for this earthquake well off the coast of Chile, 5.2 in the, in the uh, Easter Island area that happened way earlier this morning. Uh, West Coast continues to bump when it comes to earthquake activity. I still see quite a bit of movement on the Petrolia station up here not being reported by the USGS. Uh, these guys are really slacking when it comes to the uh, reporting of the earthquakes here in this region. Uh, let's see here. They're only showing, uh, looks like two earthquakes, 2.5 and a 1.6 throughout the last 24 hours. That's not correct though. When it comes to the uh, multitudes there down South, a little bit of further activity along the San Andreas fault system here, kind of seeing a renewed uptick along the creeping section here, right around the Diablo range. Some activity off here on the coast too. inland. Looks like it's just off the, uh, we got Oceanic Fault, San Andreas Fault up here, or I should say over here. A couple uh, microquakes within this region earlier today, 2.2 and a 2.1 near uh, Templeton and San uh, Simon area. Or Simon, San Simon, I'm guessing it's Simon. The shoot down south here and look at the activity once again still kicking up in the Palomar Observatory area. Over the last 24 hours, uh, looks like about eight earthquakes or so within this region is still kicking up here. One within the last hour, a little bit of further movement up north. San Andreas Fault looks pretty quiet. We are seeing a little bit of activity ramping up here south of the border, uh, south of Mexicali area with a couple twos and some microquakes uh, south of the border. Like I mentioned, the Imperial Fault sits over here to the east. That one's pretty ca uh, capable of producing a pretty good sized earthquake. And of course the uh, Brawley Seismic Extension into the San Andreas Fault northward. Uh, all that area right now looks pretty quiet, though. Into the Nevada area, seeing a swarm of movement to the northwest of Tonopah once again. Normally, we'll see a linear-type fashion here of earthquake activity from the uh, oh, the six-pointer they had last year, earlier that last year. And uh, at least today, it's more confined to one little area over here to the east of Highway 3. A couple twos kicking off, it looks like, um, at some variable depths there below the, uh, the desert surface out there northward some movement up here as well uh, into the Pacific Northwest things rel relatively quiet and it's kind of odd too because the trimmer department tonight showing 200 epicenters of trimmer along the Cascadia subduction zone still seeing some movement here in Northern California but really ramping up here into parts of uh, uh, the Oregon area southwest of portland of course this is not earthquake activity but trimmer uh, down dip into the subduction zone of the cascadia a lot of activity really ramping up here outside of seattle as well uh, so just kind of watching this area pretty closely as we're seeing a uh, heightened movement uh, as far as the trimmer goes along the cascadia but no surface uh, earthquakes up here in the pacific northwest which i kind of find kind of odd uh, some movement throughout the Idaho area and also into Montana, uh, but nothing significant, uh, just 2.1. Yellowstone looks pretty quiet, at least here on this map. They did have some activity um, throughout the day today in the north northwest corner of the park, it looks like, around the Maple Creek area. Seen some uh, microquakes here, Madison River as well, picking up some, uh, some uh, little spikes on the seismograph station. This here, not for sure exactly what that is could be a geyser nearby geyser activity 
um, showing up on the seismograph uh, in that location. So to Butte here, that's kind of odd. <clears throat> not for sure if this is uh, earthquake activity or not. It kind of looks like it. Um, in fact, it does a lot because of the uh, localized spiking of these earthquakes, and there's a lot in there. Um, I do kind of like to look at other graphs here and see if we can maybe possibly see uh, that activity on a, on another localized station and I, it just doesn't pick up as much as uh, the prior station here except for this big one so I'm going to have to look at this a little bit more closely if I can uh, uh, decipher on if that's earthquake activity or not uh, definitely seen some movement up here could be ice quakes as well I know it's pretty cold up there in Montana Wyoming area a lot of times these uh the ice cracking, I guess, if you will, will show up as spikes like that uh, in the winter time. But definitely some earthquake activity in the Maple Creek region. Uh, some, some smaller movement, but definitely showing up. Uh, if you look here on these stations here, even in the south part of Yellowstone, uh, that signature right there, you can see it on pretty much all these stations showing up, but not on the USGS map at all within this region. So. Just kind of waiting on them. They're probably on vacation again from the uh, the New Year's. They'll get to it, I'm assuming. Oklahoma, north uh, northeast of Inid area, a couple small microquakes and one south of the Oklahoma City area. New Madrid zone's pretty quiet. A little bit of movement around the North Carolina area over the last 24 hours, 1.7 near Townsend, Tennessee. Um, yeah, Tennessee area right outside the Great Smoky Mountains. Uh, what else we got? We have noticed a little bit of movement here along the Pacific Plate over here north of Japan. Uh, looks like some deeper activity occurring here in the subduction zone. Kind of watching this area potentially for some large-scale movement. Seeing one of those earthquakes here, uh, 4.3 at 160 kilometers down into the subduction zone here. Uh, the majority, three of these that struck today, even one outside of Tokyo, are all pretty deep. Uh, further activity around the Tawa uh, Taiwan area to the southwest and also um, south of the Philippines some movement kicking up there in the Indonesia area look at that deep earthquake right there into the sea area 589 kilometers for a 4.5 the Solomon Islands southward still pretty quiet except for one little lone 4.9 earthquake around the Tonga area some activity kicking up here in the Afghanistan areas as well, some deeper movement. We had 5.2 at 234 kilometers deep. Pretty uh, pretty deep region uh, for, for some uh, earthquake activity there. And also north of uh, Morocco near Portugal, 4.3 at 7.0 kilometers. The Atlantic looks pretty quiet. We didn't see a South Sandwich earthquake. South Sandwich Islands earthquake earlier, uh, way, way, way earlier this morning. Uh, with a uh, 5.1 occurring there into the uh, the trench region at 35 kilometers. So uptick in movement with the trimmer activity tonight. Got to be on guard out here along the west coast hill. I don't think we're done with the uh, potential for earthquake activity out here uh, by a long shot. Uh, let's see. So trimmer, Yellowstone, we checked that out. The solar weather activity kind of kicking up a little bit. We've seen that... Uh, jump up last night a little bit they did adjust that to the uh 50 percent category there for higher latitude geomagnetic storming there with the potential for auroras still kind of heightened on the aurora forecast oval solar flare threat looks pretty uh iffy at the moment just a 70 percent chance of a sea flare uh 20 percent chance of an m flare and looks like five percent chance of an x flare uh, from, I'm guessing it's going to be the sunspot, um, or par probably could be departing 2916 over here that could be uh, um, posing a hazard, but even then it doesn't look all that uh, promising. 2922 uh, looking pretty small, it's looking uh, pretty absent here around the other side here of the sun that will be facing the earth here soon. So I'll just have to wait and see if anything pops up in the near future. I don't really see anything promising there on the charts at the moment. 
All right, guys, uh, let's see what else we got to chat about here. Uh, just some earthquake uh, activity. Definitely uh, kind of lighten up here. I want to show you guys the seismograph station of the Petrolia. It looks like an earthquake coming into the Solomon Islands right now. You can see the well-defined uh, signature of that. But also notice here on Petrolia, they've been getting these earthquakes all day long, some bigger than that as well, pretty much flatlining the uh, seismograph reading. And uh, it's just USGS not reporting the earthquake activity once again. I kind of want to see where this earthquake in the Solomon Islands, uh, see how big it is exactly. I'm not for sure if EMSC is picking up on it yet, but we will check it out here and see. Uh, let's see here. Let's go over here down to the EMSC model. Um, do, 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 do. I am not for sure why EMSC is not functioning like it should be. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, so it looks like down there in the New Zealand area, they had a 4.0 kick up, um, looks like 0158 UTC time. So that would be just a short time ago. And of course, USGS not picking it up. I'm still waiting on the earthquake, uh, potential signature from the, um, Solomon Islands spike there on the seismograph. So I don't see anything coming in yet. Uh, as far as activity showing up here on the EMSC model, some movement into the middle of America Trench, it looks like. And uh, did the USGS report that? Looks like at least one down here in the Guatemala area, 4.4, 4, 114 kilometers into that trench, like I mentioned. Uh, but there's also some other ones at a 4.1 south of there and also uh, a 4.3 in the uh, South America region, which... USGS uh, not showing. A couple earthquakes there missing from the uh, map there. But there's a whole lot missing from Northern California, let me tell you. Uh, let's refresh this, see if we can get the Solomon Islands quake that just kicked up. I, it's not coming through yet, but uh, it is definitely there. If it's something more, I don't think it's super significant. But uh, definitely a spike on the Solomon Islands station there of a localized earthquake in that region. If it's something bigger, we'll be back. But uh, for now, we will continue on with the Earthquake Live 3D stream and keep an eye, of course, on the West Coast region. Uh, just kind of a kind of a waiting game, but at the same time, watching for potential over here in the uh, northwestern part of the Pacific Plate with this deeper activity into the uh, into this watch area we've been watching here for uh, quite a while. All right, guys, have a good night. Happy New Year once again. Hope everyone, uh, of course, made it home safe. If, if you guys did get out and celebrate, I stayed home here with Missy Mimi's and enjoyed the evening. Had a little bonfire outside. Uh, it's pretty cold. It's supposed to be pretty cold again tonight, I guess, by California standards, down to about 28 degrees. We've been having lots of frost in the morning, so that's kind of neat. All right, guys, stay safe out there. We will chat you guys a little bit later.